we do a review of the Zeta Room Stroller, make sure you like and subscribe. So Cove, what is it that you like about the Zeta Room? Is it comfortable? You're going to give it a clap for being comfortable? Is it not very comfortable? Well, it's not actually that well padded on the back, is it? So for sleeping in, it's not the best, is it? But for general riding around in, what are we thinking? We're going to give it, how many out of 10 are we thinking? Uh, don't kick me, thank you. Out of 10, we're going to give it, for general riding around, eight out of 10 for comfort, I think, because it's quite good, isn't it? It's quite, yes, that's right, it's quite good. It works fairly well, and it's got quite a lot of adjustability, hasn't it? Oh, it's a little bit fiddly, but we'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. So it's all right, is it? Eight out of ten for comfort on the Zeta Room. So what's what's that? What's the seatbelt like, Cove? We can see the seatbelt there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. There's the seatbelt. It's like a central harness on a racing car, isn't it? Yes. It's good, isn't it? It's easy to clip clip on, isn't it? So literally you just press the button in the middle, which you can't see now because Cole's, Cole's fiddling about. There's a little button in the middle. There it is. You press the little button, get off the selfie stick. Don't wobble it. There you are. There's a little button in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. Press that little button there and the harnesses all release. They're just like two pieces that you have to push in. So that's really, really good. It's really easy to clip him in. And it can be a bit wriggly at times because he's a little wriggle pot. Are you a little wriggle pot? Yes, you're a little wriggle pot. You're a bit tired at the moment, aren't you? Anyway, so the seatbelt, yes, the seatbelt, in terms of fastening it, is quite good. And there's also three positions at the back. Now, Cove is, how, how heavy are you now? Yes, we weighed you last night and you are one stone and ten pounds. You've actually lost a little bit of weight. So, one year old, just over, well, nearly, nearly 13 months, not quite. Um, yes, not that bad. And there are three positions at the back. He's in the middle position. So you show him the positions. There's the positions. One. He's in the middle one there. Two. And there's another one down the bottom. Three. So Cove is in the middle position. It's a big lad. 13 months old nearly. And uh, it fits in lovely. Oh dear. You're sick of being in there now. We've just come back from Costa, haven't we? Taking the girls to school and come back from Costa. And we're just doing this. So the adjustability on the seatbelts is pretty good as well. So I think we'll give that... Hmm, 9 out of 10, I think, because uh, it's a cheaper buggy. Very cheap, anyway, it's pretty good. Adjustable on the waist strap there, look, there's a little adjustment. There's a bit of padding here as well. Gets tangles up all the time, actually. But there's an adjustment there as well. So that makes it a really nice adjustable seatbelt system. So we're giving it, what did I say? Did I say 8 or did I say 9? Let's call it 8 out of 10 for the adjustability and the ease of use of the seatbelt. 8 out of 10 is what you do. So, Cove, you just, could you just demonstrate the foot system on the Zeta Voom, please? <laughs> Can you do that for me? So, oh, tip, tip, tip. At the bottom of where his feet go, which he's now climbing along, there is a little, uh, there we go, a little thing to put your feet on when you're a bit older. Get off the stick. And then this, come on, out the way. Thank you. You can see Cove is now crawling and not just crawling, but walking and standing up all the time. This bit here, you can have it down like that. There we go, there's the angle. Or you can have it up, click, like that. And it, you have to adjust both sides, unfortunately. But, you know, it's to be expected really on the price point. Or you can have it up like that. So we tend to have it in the up position most of the time at the moment, because Cove's only, only little. And he's only, how old are you? Can't, just can't speak yet, can you? You can say, hello. Oh, down you go. That wasn't a very good one, was it? You tripped up. It's not got very marks out of trip up ability. <laughs> so there we have. That's the seat. That looks pretty good. And there, you, what I was talking about before, you can see the adjustments there on the uh, on the seat belt system a lot, lot better. Um, quite a good selection of colours when we bought this one. We bought it off Amazon. Don't play with the nappy bags, though, for stinky. And then you get a good look around. But back to the back to the seat thing. So we've got that little adjustment there, which is really, really useful. Don't really need to give it marks out of that, out of 10 for that, but basically just to show you what it's all about. But uh, yeah, pretty good, really. 
So we're actually reviewing the Zeta Voo, which we bought from Amazon for £49.95. And Cove at the moment is having a sleep, so we're uh, substituting Cove at the moment for Coral. Hello, Coral. Hello. You know, you, know, you can't talk yet. Ah. Ah, that's right, yes. Yeah. So Coral, Coral is um, 13 months old. She's quite <laughs> big for 13 months. <laughs> What's the comfort like in the buggy? Ah. Bah, yes, okay. right. Bah, bah. So the one thing we wanted to talk about really next was the uh, the pockets at the back. So I've basically got one pocket here, and I'll do a little close-up of this in a minute. Got a pocket there, which you can store all your stuff in like we do, and there's another little pocket there which you can put your phone in, which is quite useful. And that clicks together, there's a little uh, little clippy thing on there, and give you a little close-up of that in a minute. So that clips really, really well. And then underneath here. But it's in its upright position like it is now, underneath here, there's quite a big area there for uh, putting your uh, nappies and stuff like that, your spare bits and bobs. So I think the storage is reasonably good. And then the hood, head down, the hood comes over like that. And there's actually a little window there, hello, so you can actually look in and see and see your baby. Like we've got, we've got a 13 month old, very large coral in there at the moment. So there's a little window there just to keep an eye on them. And then the other really good thing about this, put the buggy down, clicks down like that, then there's a secondary little, see that? Secondary little thing there that comes down. And that's really good at keeping the sun out of your eyes whilst um, on a sunny day, assuming you get any sunny days, which we've had one or two recently. And you can hook it up to this little thing here. That's right, so the baby at uh, 13 months has now decided she can talk. Oh. And there's a little elasticated thing there to hook it back up to stop it falling down. There we go, it's come undone. It doesn't normally come undone, it's just because I was fiddling with it. There we go, put it back up. There, and then there, there, and it's back again like that. So quite effective really as a hood. So for pockets and hood, uh, I think we're going to give it out of 10 for a cheap buggy. Uh, I think we're going to give it 8 out of 10. To give you the detail on the pocket there I was just talking about, there's a little clip there that unclips, and then in there you can see we've got uh, all the tissues and stuff <laughs> that you gather up, and down down there there's like a secondary a secondary little pocket, and that just uh, just clips together quite easy. There we go. Oh, there we go, beautiful. And then on the top there, what I was talking about before, there you are. You can see through there is a little little window. And then this is the little clippy thing for the hood. So you just undo that, little detail. There you go, down it goes. And you can see there the, um, the amount of shade that that provides, which is really quite effective. And then underneath here, you can see the big pocket down the bottom there, which is quite good. So the next thing we want to talk about on the Zeta Boom is the way that the seat folds down. So you can see at the moment and it's in its fully upright position. And the next thing to talk about really is the way it reclines. And this is a little bit fiddly, if I'm honest. Um, so it uses this, there's one at each side. So you can imagine you've got your baby in there, trying to get it to actually fold down is really, 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 really tricky. I found the best way to do is to come around here and literally do that and then sort of fold it down. It's got three positions, so that's in its fully laid down position, like uh, like so. And lift it back, it'll click once, and that's in its mid position. You lift it back up, it's, uh, it's in its fully upright position. But as I say, you have to lift both at once and then stop your baby slamming down, really. So it is a little bit, it's a bit thinner, if I'm honest. Mm, okay, so if you had your baby in there, it would have woken up then. Um, so for Reclinability, that's a good word, isn't it? Reclinability out of 10, I'm only going to give it three for the Zeta Boom for reclinability. So the next thing to talk about on the Zeta Boom on this test, remember this is a long-term test. We've owned this buggy now for whew, probably about eight months, I would say. So we've uh, it's been in the walls a little bit. It's been abroad. It's been on an aeroplane and it's still in one piece and really robust. So we're really pleased with it in general. I just want to talk about the wheels. So the wheels at the front are these type of rotating ones go all the way around like that. Now there is a facility. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to do this, but there is a facility. If you press that down, 
it would stop them, that stops them rotating at the front. We've never ever done that to be honest, but uh, you just push that little piece down and lift it back up again in the rotate round. So the front wheel has moved round. So we just want to talk about the back wheels on the buggy. You can see that they only go in a straight line, as you can see there. Uh, but what we need to talk about is the, is the brakes, basically. So you put the brakes on with these two pieces here, and you basically would push them down with your foot. Now, they are just a little bit fiddly. Sometimes when you do that, it doesn't quite click in fully. Uh, so if you lived on top of a hill, you might be just a little bit worried that they maybe wouldn't come on. When they are on properly, you can see there, they actually lock the wheels really well, and they won't come off. But it's just you just have to be sure sometimes that they're on fully. So the brakes... Um, not particularly, they're not my favourites, they're not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but um, from my point of view, I think they could be maybe just a little bit better. Um, so brakes and wheels, out of 10, I think we're gonna give the buggy, the Zeta Boom, we're gonna give it seven out of 10 for brakes and wheels. Next, we're doing the foldability test. So, First, you have to just kind of do that with your toe. You need shoes on to do this as well, otherwise it's going to hurt your toes. Then push that bit down. And <laughs> Marks out of 10 for the Zeta Boom. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it's, it's quite easy. So one of the other things I want to talk about on the Zeta Boom then is the rain cover. Um, it's plastic thing that goes on, it's uh, a little bit thin really, not that good is it Cove? I don't think we've used it yet have we? It's probably the first time it's been on the buggy. So it kind of, it kind of attaches, ooh, break it, sorry, kind of attaches there, look it goes over the handles, there's a little thing so you can still get into the pocket which is good little bit of design I suppose, but it's pretty flimsy if I'm honest. Fastens down the bottom here with a little bit of Velcro. You can see the dot of shrunk in this turn plastic. <laughs> um, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best in the rain cover. It comes with the buggy as standard for £49.50. I don't know really what you could expect more, to be honest. It does the job. If you were caught in a shower, it would stop you getting wet. Um, I don't really expect it to pass the test of time if you were using it every single day, though. Anyway, that's the rain cover. We're going to give it max out of 10. I think we're going to give it, how many cove do you think out of 10? Mm, five out of 10, yeah, five out of 10. I'm not giving it a clap, are you? No, I'm not giving it a clap. So to finalize then with the Zeta Boom, uh, we're giving it max out of 10 for basically it being a buggy. Um, I think because number one, it's it's fairly cheap, isn't it? It's forty nine pound fifty, as I keep saying. It was from Amazon. There's also a range of different colours, which is quite cute. This is probably the most boring colour, which is like a navy blue, but there's all sorts of exciting colours. Out of ten overall, for basically being a buggy, I think we're going to give it eight out of ten. Good value, robust, strong. It's been to a bit abroad a couple of times and back and survived. This is now nine months old, isn't it? This buggy, eight, nine months, something like that. It's passing the test of time. It's cove proof, which is always a benefit. Yeah, I don't see the dolly. Uh, so, yeah, eight out of ten for the buggy overall. <laughs> Just threw her away. Thanks, guys, for watching the Zeta Room stroller review. And if you haven't already, 